Please welcome Shannon Brewster, representing the class of 2018. Good afternoon, graduating class of 2018. I'm honored to be here with you today, celebrating this momentous occasion together and the achievement of a major life milestone. Congratulations. <clears throat> For me personally, this day looks a lot different than I imagined that it would. Most notably because I have a lot less hair than I thought I'd have when I graduated college. To our families, the faculty and staff, and academic advisors, we want to thank you for your guidance and support. I'm especially grateful to my mom and my wife, Tori, and my children, Tori, excuse me, and my children, <laughs> Tyler and Kaylin. They suffered through all the nights and weekends when I was too busy with schoolwork to be as present with them as I would like to have been. And there were all the times that I couldn't help out around the house or run an errand because I had homework. I'm sure I'm not the only one who played that card. <laughs> like many of you, I got sidetracked from my first attempt at school and returned later in life. Married at 23 years old, two children by 26, and carrying a mortgage, I felt the heavy responsibility to provide for my family. I realized that I really needed a higher education to ensure that I could succeed in a changing world. I saw how limited I was without a degree, as I was often passed over for promotions and new opportunities. So I went back to college. And finally, 21 years after graduating high school, I am celebrating this occasion with you, my fellow graduates. <clears throat> Today is partly about stepping back and reflecting and appreciating the sense of satisfaction and fulfillment that comes with a difficult goal achieved. I know that each of you has had an incredible journey worth sharing with twists and turns and challenges. Together we share that common experience and a mutual appreciation for the transformative power of an education, as well as the commitment to lifelong learning. We preserved long after many others had given up. It's not easy to attain a degree at any stage of life, much less so while balancing work, a career, raising children, or caring maybe even for parents, and navigating life's many challenges. We had to really dig deep to find the resolve to push forward despite personal calamities, natural disasters, maybe the loss of homes, jobs, loved ones, or numerous other hurdles. Many of us had role models and sources of inspiration along the way. For me, it was my mom. She unknowingly inspired me to achieve my degree in ways that she probably doesn't realize until now hearing me today. As a young kid in grade school, I watched her raise three boys, work a job at Kmart, and earn a bachelor's of science in nursing, all while my dad worked out of town much of the week. Consider that this was in the 1980s before the internet. She literally had to drive to campus for every single class. It's amazing how much easier technology has made things. I remember vividly her shutting herself in her bedroom for hours while my brothers and I would wreak havoc around the house. Observing her studying during those years and then seeing her college graduation as a kid, just like mine are here watching ours today, instilled in me an awareness of the importance of an education. It motivated me to get good grades, and it served as a compass that drove me to keep going long into adulthood. Each of us has had an individual like that in our life that served as an inspiration to keep pressing forward. Who was it for you? You might want to let them know. Champlain College was a pivot for me. I was working on a business degree at another college when my employer, AT&T, entered into a partnership with Champlain for a cybersecurity development program. I enrolled in 2014 and I was hooked immediately. I switched my major and I never looked back. The learning at Champlain quickly propelled me into new career opportunities even before completing my degree. 
I received promotions and a significant lift in my earnings within months. So I became a strong advocate of the college and began evangelizing the program internally. I hosted calls with upwards of 70 colleagues at a time, looking to promote it and encouraging others to participate. Last I heard, over 800 people from AT&T have enrolled at Champlain as part of a bold effort to reskill their legacy workforce of over 240,000 for a changing world. Technology is reshaping industries and creating new ones faster than most people realize. Autonomous systems, robotics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and more are radically changing the nature of work and the value of human capital. This will affect all of us, regardless of your career choice. It requires us all to stay on our toes, be willing to embrace change, and keep growing. At AT&T, we were told repeatedly that there is a new social contract and that lifelong employment was no longer guaranteed. We need to continuously invest in ourselves and learn new skills or we'll be left behind. Our CEO led by example and told us that he reads constantly and makes a point to surround himself with people smarter than himself and especially those who think differently and that challenge his beliefs. This is sound advice. We see all too often the impact of the opposite, polarization and division. People have become over -reliant, overly reliant on their own social media feeds to stay informed. I believe that one of the greatest values of an education is that we learn to think critically, to question, and to ensure that our own beliefs are grounded in evidence. Whatever your motivations were for achieving your degree today, whether for new career opportunities to inspire your kids or just to make more money, I encourage you to pay it forward, consider mentoring, encourage a young person to get their education, to help them to set and achieve worthy goals. You are living proof that it's never too late. It's an effort that will reap more dividends than you know. Earning your degree brings enormous benefits, but also responsibility. The responsibility to honor your own role models by serving as one yourself. The responsibility to continue questioning, embracing change, and investing in yourself. View your graduation today as not the end of the road, but as a continuation of your quest to be lifelong learners. I'm so happy that I could have been here with all of you today to celebrate your success. Best wishes on your new opportunities that your efforts here at Champlain have made possible. Thank you.